Hello there guys. Today we're gonna install Windows NT 3.51 workstation. Yeah boys. A true 30 bit 32 bit I mean native operating system. Yeah boy. Back in the old days, you know, when they were helping IBM with OSG and then they had that split and they were like, oh, we gotta we gotta use our part of the code to make something cool and they made NT out of it which stands for new technology and uh, differently from like Windows 3.11 it had a different code structure so it was not 16-bit anymore it was 32 which would uh, lead to better performance more like compatibility stuff like that so it was quite the thing back then it was like hype as fuck people were definitely waiting for that and it was mind-blowing once it came out so it was like the first war of 1995 because windows 95 itself was like wow it was even better you know because nt was targeting like professional market and then windows 95 came out and boom personal market with the start menu and all the things that got Windows so popular I mean Windows 95 was the one that got Microsoft on very top not that they were not on the top before but the market share wasn't as massive as when Windows 95 came out but NT was the very first step to get there because it was their first true 32 bit native system so yeah let's get going first things first let's change bio state so bio oh it's not here my apologies here we go so let's say it was released in april so may i mean let's go with july july is okay Fourth, yeah, cool. Ninety ninety-five. Let's go back in time to ninety ninety-five. It doesn't matter much. Uh, time. Uh, let's try eleven twenty-nine. It's it's okay. So we press ask. Now we gotta detect the drive, which is LBA mode. Yeah, LBA mode is okay. Now it's trying to see if there's another disk. There's not. Of course, there's not another disk. But let's let's wait for it to do its thing. Well, there you go. So that's pretty much it. We could just skip that. Skip and save and exit setup. Yes. Oh, let's get uh, the boot disk in there, which is for Microsoft DOS, but it does the trick 6.22 because that would let us format the disk. So, yeah, let's go. It's going to boot straight into Microsoft DOS. As you can see, we got 65, 64 megabytes of RAM because, you know, NT workstation is quite demanding. I mean, you could run it with 16, but like, it's not ideal, you know? It's the bare minimum, so like, why not you go a little fancy? And for 95, 64 was like, almost like 32 gigs now. It's way more than you would ever need. It's overkill as fuck, and that's what we're doing here. We want to be overkill. 486, DX4, 100 megahertz, and 64 megabytes pretty damn cool so first things first let's run f disk to make sure the disk swiped and ready yeah system will now restart and then we just wait for it to do its thing once again it's a very fast process so it doesn't matter much there we go so we can proceed to the wiping part which I find very cool for Matt C. Goodbye. Yes, I don't mind. Yeah, that's the right disc, is it? Yeah, it is. I was like, holy shit, am I wiping the right one? 
uh, let's call it NT351. It's quite a cool name now. Go to drive R, we'll list the files. Excuse me. Oh, there's no disk in there. <laughs> I forgot. Let's pretend it never happened, okay? The disk was in there the whole time. I never tried to read a disk that wasn't there, okay? Let's skip that between us, please. So let's retry. Oh, there you go. So let's run. Oh, there's setup. Let's cd to i386. And then we run direct. Oh, okay. Setup. Bad command. Install. Uh, okay. I set up. No. Okay, how am I supposed to run that? It's, it's not set up. It's not uh, set up. Let's see. Uh, set up here. Nope. Set up. Nope. Okay, that's a problem. Oh, there's a f text file. TXT. Can we... Oh, we can't read that. It's bad. Uh, crap. That's a bit of a problem driver library mips ppc what does it mean support let's go to support to see uh debug message boots oh actually i know it could be uh the right way so change to i386 and then we run win nt. Haha, <laughs> there you go. There you go. There you go. Tree formatted blank, high density, floppy. Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. Okay, so let's get my floppy database, which is somewhere in. Where is it? Image. Blank disk collection. There you are. So. Let's get going. Now. I don't think this is it formatted. Oh my god, it's not high density. Where is it not blank? Set up to use this disk. God damn it. Let's see. Uh, tree wiped uh, floppy image file. Uh, blank floppy download disk image download oh there is making blank floppy disk images for a virtual box yeah I'm gonna take that even though it's a version if it exists and it's not what I need to do it's a hack version around of this you can make a batch file with this Running freaking okay, that's not quite. You can mount. Oh, that's better. Oh, it's DSK format. I don't think it. You understand that the software dates back to 1984. Yeah, I think I do understand that. Blank disk. Save. Okay, change drive A. Let's try. It's probably not going to work. It barely reads. It's not formatted for years with Microsoft DOS. No! No! God's sake! For. Microsoft DOS download should make a floppy disk obtain floppy preparing DOS this images creating a startup disk dude that's where I had a floppy a blank one somewhere but it's just okay I know what you do don't you guys worry about it I'm gonna format a few more using Workstation. I don't think I have another option. So workstation is Windows Professional. Yeah, let's use this one. 
make sure edit VM settings make sure that we got a floppy use floppy it's connected at power on yes and we're using our blank collection so okay let's run the system and hope for best let me switch the capture so that you guys can see what's going on I think it's Windows window capture 9 probably have to uh, block this one so that you guys can know it's not Windows capture 9 oh it is non system oh fucking hell okay so we press control out and we get the floppy out for the time being floppy 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 where's the floppy oh it's here I forgot floppy disconnect settings actually I'm just gonna yeah let's not use let's use a physical drive all right F floppy drive oh it doesn't let me do that cool so let's just disconnect it replace press any key okay back to Windows 2000 hmm quite the workaround to get the scrap installed hate my life but it is what it is am I right so we're gonna format it fat 32 style Microsoft DOS compatible I don't even know if that's gonna work but it's probably gonna so Windows starting up come on Windows I know you can load faster you can definitely load faster than that there you go so we send a control down there you go and the password okay that was a weird screen okay so we got the floppy back in there removable devices floppy connect yes okay you gotta be kidding me so we can't use the flop in here it seems that's quite the problem shut down you know what you know what I'm gonna make blank drives and format with Microsoft DOS uh, that's what I'm gonna do I don't think I have a second option so uh, back to PC emulator it seems for the time being and uh, let's see disk system create blank disk image it has to be a high density one it's 144 as far as I remember so 144 it is and we're gonna call it Blank one for a Microsoft DOS save, and then we create another one, which is gonna be oh we can just make uh, copies, which would be smarter and would save us some time. So I might as well just do that. Microsoft DOS to edit VM settings oh yeah we can't get a floppy in there right now because it's gonna you know lead to headache it's okay now we can start Microsoft DOS window capture alright let's end this one for the time being and let's enable display capture okay that's not the right display capture my bad window capture alert box window capture is that it is that it no it's not the one holy crap okay so here we go uh, we gotta format the drive let me just get the drive in there so we have to hide screen for a second it's just for a brief moment because I gotta do something first oh oh there you go so now you guys can see what I mean 
That's better. So let's get a flop in there. Let's control what. There you go. So removable devices, floppy settings. Let me get a floppy in there. Browse. Oh, we could even create straight from VMware. That's cool. Blank disk collection. So blank one for Microsoft DOS. And we connect. And there you go. I think it's A. General abort. Abort, 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 abort. Why is it not aborting? Okay. Why does it work with the emulator, but it doesn't work with this one? I don't quite get it. Okay. Current drive sound longer valid. I think I screwed up big time. It's not reading it. You know what? Let's make it straight from uh, VMware instead. That would be probably the best option for us. So back up we go. Microsoft DOS removable devices, floppy settings. And then we create a new blank image. Floppy images, yeah. Okay, that's not for Microsoft OS 6. Let's go it that way. And then we retry. Would it work? No. Nope. Fucking hell, let's reboot. I don't know how to get rid of this little problem there. Mobile devices, floppy, restart guest. Yes, let's restart. Microsoft DOS is testing the memory. There we go. Let's go to drive A or B. Maybe it's drive B. Uh, fail. Current drive is no longer valid. Okay. Well, MIDI type reading drive A. Excuse me. Maybe it's, maybe it's B. It could be a B. Damn it. Sway. More of a headache than I thought it would be. And that's triggering me quite a bit. Oh, uh, let's see. B. Insert. Oh uh, my god, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Okay. You know what? Let's try on Windows. So, removable devices, power, restart guest. Let's try it with Windows itself. Because. Systems not helping us, so Windows it is. Accessories file manager A. Uh, so yes, drive A. Uh, there you go. Label, make system disk. Blah. All right. Yeah, let's format. Okay, that's better. So we got it wiped. We can finally exit file manager. Oh crap. Okay, it doesn't quite. Oh shit, exit. And now we can close Windows. Yes, and we can shut down. Finally. Better late than. Never am I right? There you go. So let's shut down guest. Goodbye, VMware. I don't need you anymore. And we can finally go back to. Uh, the ROM collection. So yeah, it was white. Seems like it was white. Oh crap! I think it wiped. The wrong one. No. No. Okay, let's see if it works. Maybe it works. Disk change drive A. I have to make a backup. It's not formatted for years with Microsoft DOS. <sighs> My God, it's not happening. It's not happening. It's not happening. It's not happening. Okay, so back to workstation. It is. Jesus Christ. 
I mean, quite the workaround, you know. It's making me crazy. But we gotta do what we gotta do, am I right? Starting Microsoft dies, yeah, please start this crap. Because I gotta wipe the disk. So here's Windows again. I gotta get the drive in there. It's for removable devices, floppy drive settings. Oh come on, settings screen not showing up. Oh there you are, browse, blank disk for Microsoft DOS. Connected, okay. File manager, you can open drive A. Yes, I want you to wipe it. System disk, how does one make a system disk? All right, so I think it might be good now. Or, well, let's disconnect it just in case removable device is floppy. Let's get it disconnected. I'm gonna make sure that it works. So let's disk change. It's blank one for Microsoft DOS. Yes, it's definitely wiped. Hi, oh, there you go. So it does work. We could start wiping another one because we need three of them. So, soft eyes, removable devices, settings. Let's see, browse, wipe. This one, connect, bingo, bongo, bish, bash, bash. So let's see. Format, scan disk. It's not blank. Let's make a blank one from this one. Disk, create blank disk. Let's call it, oh crap, system's not quite responding. Which is not cool. Oh, it is. It's just... Okay, so it did work. Now we can format the second disk, removable devices, floppy settings. Oh boy, there you go, browse, blank, number two, and then we connect it, and it's going to show up, it's not formatted, and then we format it, okay, drive one, okay, yes, sure, format it, bingo, so that's one of them, now we can go and replace blank two, there you go, enter, and uh, let's make a new one, create blank disk image let's 144 megabyte let's call it blank tree it's the very last one and then we go back to Microsoft DOS where we change the floppy drive uh, removable floppy settings come on ship browse blank tree there you go blank trees in there Connected. Now we format it again. Yes. Do you want to format it now? Sure. Yeah. Well, it's quick, so we can finally shut down. Not like we need Microsoft DOS anymore. So power shut down. Yes. Shut down. Yeah. So we got it all wiped and ready to go. I hope it installs. Cause damn it, it was quite a hard <laughs> workaround. You know. Never thought it would be that hard. So let me just, just in case, let's make a few extra blank versions. Just in case we have like 20 of them. There you go, that's better. So that's the third one disk change drive. Blank tree. And that's the last one. And before system fails to install, 
Dude, I would be so mad, seriously. I would be so freaking mad. I swear to God, like, seriously. I would never touch Windows NT again. It would trigger me so much. That's apparently the very last one, though. Okay, it's very fine. File structure, which takes a little longer than I thought it would take, but it's all right. Let's so text it up, SIF. And now it's getting the files in the hard drive. 6%, cool. No, uh, ignore. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, let's skip that. Doesn't matter. We do have that already, I think. That's why it failed. Because it's in there from the very beginning. It could be wrong, though. Well, we about to figure out eventually. Shit's taking way longer. And what I planned, but hey, if it works, it works. If it does not work, I'll be so fucking mad. I swear to God, like seriously, it's gonna work though. You know, it's most likely gonna work fine. Cause if it does not, oh my God. Oh my sweet Lord Jesus. I didn't even know. I'm gonna be so mad. But odds are high. God's gonna help us, you know. God's not gonna do that. Three, four percent. Okay. Well, it's a very, very slow setup. But after getting it all installed, we'll have the best workstation suite ever made. Hmm. Said Microsoft back in 1995, and it, it was. It was quite the workstation you know it was like having Windows 10 Pro today because like we don't have um, specific workstation ISs anymore because like back in the day we had Windows 95 for the consumer market for like normal people and then T for the professional market so there was the server one and the workstation one for more advanced users users and I was gotten rid of in Windows 2000 I think which had a professional variant which had sort of workstation features if I'm not wrong and Windows XP and Windows Vista Windows 7 and so on and so on and now we have because like Vista had business YouTube mate you know instead of just professional and then professional came back in Windows 8 and 8.1 and Windows 10. And I kind of like the professional name tag instead of YouTube Mate or Business. I just find it cooler, you know. It's more professional. I mean, the name says professional, so I kind of prefer it that way. But like, be cool, you know, Windows Server. 2019 workstation or like Windows NT I think it's 6.3 now Windows 10 6.4 6.3 I don't remember uh, professional workstation I mean, it would be cool like Windows 10 is okay it's a cool name even though it's not quite 10 it's 6 not something <clears throat> it's still based off NT 
and better than the old ones 64 bit now and shit but dude back in the 90s 32 bit was was lit was the flick of the wrist they all were hyped about 32 bit and all the advantages you know in fact they could go up to 3 gigs of ram and like gaming and shit was so much better and now we have 64 can you imagine that like just like 20 years ago people could, could barely imagine 1 gig of ram now we got 60 gigs you know 128 gigs of ram is becoming a standard for like professional workstations of course not for normal users for normies <clears throat> I would say 8 is the stand standard but like even then I mean it fits thousands of old Windows 95's in there you know not in uh, the hard drive I mean RAM wise you could run like if it was somewhat possible of course it's not unless it's VMs but then again you would have a CPU problem regarding DOS clocks and shit but like let's just say it was possible even though it's not to run like a lot of Windows 95s at once and uh, you know, ima just imagine that like 32 gigs of RAM Windows 95 needs 8 megabytes to work so you could have like wow you know you can fit so many Windows 95s in there the meme the car dealer meme and that's just how things are. I mean, I remember being impressed that my 16 megabytes of RAM, I got 16 gigabytes. And it's not even impressive anymore. You know, tech's just, it's insane. Things change way too fast. I mean, not as fast as it used to be back in the 90s. Things were so crazy. Like, one year and your system was obsolete. It's not like that anymore. I would say five to six years to get a render obsolete. Because, like, let's say a 93 computer in 1997 would be rendered like useless, but now a 2014 computer is not useless in 2018 and uh, 2015 computer is not useless and, and so on. I mean, you could use a 2006 computer now just fine for like web browsing stuff like that because it could definitely run Windows 10 as long as it got like more than just 2 gigs of RAM and a dual core CPU but yeah most likely I mean now I'll try to get a, 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 I don't know like 1991 computer in 1997 to run Windows 95 that wouldn't happen at all I mean, maybe it could, but wouldn't run fine at all, and you'd have to come up with a workaround for CPU issues and shit. You know, instruction-wise and shit, it would probably lead to a lot of blue screens. But hey, look at that, we are 93% now. And that's not even the very end, because we still have to restart, and that's when things usually go wrong or right. Hopefully they will go right this time because if they go wrong, I'll be so mad 96% oh come on let's not Let's not go wrong, please I beg you oh My god, I'm getting nervous now 98% holy shit so yeah as you can see the first 32-bit OS is kinda slow to install at first Microsoft 32-bit I mean not the first 32-bit OS Microsoft DOS base portion of setups complete so we now restart after okay workstation uh, setup boot disk I don't think I do have a. Oh, I do, I do, I do, I do. 
it's operating systems windows where is it oh there you go boot disk wow there's three of them holy cool press enter to restart your computer yeah sure and uh oh okay so no ram check just cool and that's when things usually go wrong but it seems like it did not happen relief it's loading files windows into executive okay all right yeah take your time windows i've got enough time to wait you decide what you do <sighs> why do you take so long hardware abstraction layer Set up disk number two. I think I do have it. Workstation set up disk two and should drive A. I think I do have it. Yeah, I do. Uh, come on. Yeah, it's loading stuff. Cool. It's so cool. I mean, it's cool as long as it doesn't, you know, go wrong. Because if it does go wrong in the end, I'll be so mad. Like, so mad. Yeah, sure. I want to install. Uh, let's go with Express. It doesn't matter. Okay, disk number three. I do have it. This tree. There you go. And so it goes. Device drivers. It's loading them drivers. I hope he has a driver for my graphics card. He has Kuzi drivers. Cool. Scuzzy were so noisy back then. It was like a fucking jet engine. CFM engine. Oh, it has CD ROM drivers out of the box. That's impressive. I mean, Windows 3 I 11 didn't, so it's a good step to the right direction. You could say that. Sorry, by the way, I just hit the microphone by accident. So I found a CD-ROM and a dual-channel PCI IDE. Okay, Sony CD-ROM. No, no, not Sony, please. Where's the Microsoft? We all know Microsoft's better than Sony. JK, JK. Excuse me, Nat. Okay, set up as a recognized following mass storage devices. Yeah, I think that's all I got. That's definitely all I got. So it's loading device drivers now. Hmm. Damn, it takes so long. Oh god. Alright. Install Windows NT from CD-ROM. I think I want to install from CD-ROM. I do have a CD-ROM. Do I? Yes. So here's FAT32. Leave current system. Oh, we could go FAT and TFS. What should we do? Convert the partition to NTFS. Format partition. Yeah, let's wipe it. I, I don't mind. I mean, I just want to install the system. So, goodbye. Win and 2, 3, 5, yeah. 
several minutes. Okay. Okay, so it has to get the files in there again. But we got the floppies done already, which is good. So the floppies are ready. The three floppies. And now we just have to install the system and hope for the best. And hopefully you know blue screens, right? Because if it ever blue screens, that's going to be very, very sad. They're going to drive me mad. So mad. 92% oh come on well straight to bit adventures okay restart computer there's a floppy disk we have to get rid of them so let's make sure they are all ejected which they are and uh, wow, Windows NT version 3.51, I think, yeah, I want to start that place. Spacebar, okay, come on. And that's when it's going to take us to the uh, Windows 3, 3.5 setup, I mean. Hopefully, it seems to be stuck. Oh my god, that's concerning. Oh, there you go. So that's set up. Finally, it took a little longer than usual, but here we are. Welcome. Uh, okay, let's type my name. Beautiful. Cool. Yeah, that's right. Computer name. Let's call it Sim uh, 95. Could be. I could even try to get it connected to my Windows 2000 server that I made on um, VMware Workstation. That would be so cool. Imagine that. Join like a domain with a node system. That would be so cool. And unsafe, but then again it's a local environment so it doesn't matter. Okay, I don't have a printer. Thank you very much. Why do you assume we all have printers and why is it so urgent to install the printer right during the initial setup? Why is it more important than network car? Jesus, it just doesn't make sense. Are not correct. Okay, no, cancel. IRQ, okay. Uh, how am I supposed to fix that? Are not correct. Oh, excuse me. I know how to use that. I'm sorry. Let's try 340. Maybe work. Okay, I know what you do. Well, let's try level one. There's no. Okay, that's a problem. Oh, is there a level one? No, there's no level one. Let's go with that. Okay, I don't mind. TCP IP transport. Yeah. Installing services, workstation service, snap bios, RPC locator. And now it's gonna just, you know, get files in the disk. Wow, that's a cool setup screen. Better than Windows 95's. Look at that. Microsoft Windows NT workstation looks so professional. About your workstation, Windows NT workstation, the most powerful desktop operating system for your most demanding business needs. Yeah, definitely. Powerful applications are available for Windows NT Workstation. Integrate tech <laughs> applications, same computer. Preemptive multitasking. Multi tasking for both your 16 and 32 bit applications. Increase overall responsiveness. <laughs> oh boy, that makes me cringe. Best of breed. <laughs> Activity. Okay, okay. Sure, Windows 3.51, the best operating system ever made, am I right? Better than 64-bit, can run crisis, and uh, all the things you could ever imagine. It can run even console games, am I right? It's the best operating system ever made, the best for server environments, the best workstation that the, the whole world has ever experienced. Well, that's what Microsoft says. So if Microsoft says that, who am I? She disagree. I traveled the world and the seven seas. Everybody's looking for something. Seven 
some of them will abuse you some of them will be abused 95% hell yeah that's very fast setup raise CD-ROM I mean uh, worst part was the very beginning you know so ooh DHCP configuration okay let's try 192 168 15 and then 96 Subnat, okay, that's cool. 198, 168, 15. One as default gateway, I think it's okay. Do we have network? Dude, I would be so happy if we somehow managed to get networking working. Well, we don't have a domain yet, so I'm gonna just go with that. Okay, no error screen seems, it's a good sign. So password, we have to set up an admin account. Sure thing. Let's get some. Okay, banner. So username and password, local account set up. I think I typed the wrong one. Red switches are so hard to do with. MS DOS. And for sure. Okay. So date and time. Okay, we can change time zone. Just something more. Okay, that's that's my time zone. Okay. Yeah. System. Ooh, we found a graphics card. That's cool. Can we use <gasps> 65? Holy cow. Okay, that's cool. Can we get a better screen res? Okay. We have not tried this settings test button. Yeah, let's test. All right. Okay, I think it does work, as you can see. Let me adjust to the screen or just form. That's better. All right. Yeah, I did see bitmap. Change display type. What? Ten twenty-four. Okay. Saving configuration. Oof. Okay, so he has a sort of setup screen to save. It's weird. I wonder what's gonna happen now. Damn, it takes so long to change the screen resolution. Like, imagine that today. Like, oh, let's change from 1080p to 4K, and then it has to save the configuration. You have to restart the system to use a new video res. That just, you know something that's thankfully lost in the past no I don't Windows NT installed so we can restart and remove disks sure yeah and choose restart I should yeah let's restart computer I should as well remove the Windows NT CD-ROM just in case because you never know I mean, things could go wrong. Hardware, come on. Let's not. OS loader. Talk about gimmicks. <laughs> OS loader. Is that like Microsoft's uh, boot loader? Kind of, um, I don't know. Doesn't convince me a single bit. System, systems, okay. So far, so good. Allocation, this space converting. What do you mean? Why? What, what are you doing? Okay. Hello, weird stuff. I don't get what, what's going on. That was weird, as I'm sure it was NTFS, and now it's converting. Like what? Excuse me. I, I don't I don't get what's going on here doesn't seem to make sense you know because I had converted it so why is it showing that message start a loop oh setting security and system files oh it's already in TFS there you go so we got a bigger screen resolution as you guys can see that's cool so we have to send control Dell to be able to log in. 
Uh, okay, let's try admin from do we really have not working I wonder cool look at that so apparently that's the most powerful workstation of 1995 let's okay in, okay my let's take a look at that I'm kind of I kind of want to see what's was it about Prediction demonstrates how she is building networking security and work group features of Windows NT to make your job easier. Uh, exit. No thanks. I mean, I know what you do. I don't want to spend half an hour watching something boring. Okay. Accessories. Applications. Do we have no we don't so here's our application let's okay that's better so uh, where's accessories cart file telnet terminal telnet what does he do connect remote system nope it's not what I want to do close Admin tools, disk manager, Windows and the diagnostics, they're very cool. More games as well. I like that. Start up. Books online. What does it do? Books online, no, 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 I can't. Oh, let's get rid of that. So there is a media player. The workstation, there is a write tool. Of course, there is a writing tool. It looks pretty cool. We are very responsive. Command prompt. Let's see, ping. We do have network. Request timed out. Crap. Bad IP address. Well, I think we don't have networking. Close. Or it just uh, the command prompt doesn't have networking enabled, which would make sense. Make a lot of sense, actually. For safety reasons, probably locked it out. But uh, where's. Let's get a plus. Oh crap. Cancel. From let's take a look at that. Oh, that's cool. That's the same thing on Windows two thousand. Windows NT Disk Admin Applications Paintbrush Notepad MIDI Player Carp File. We got sound, which is good, so we can hear the beeps. MIDI player. I don't think we do have a MIDI sample though. File open. Yeah, we definitely don't. So we can close that. I could try loading some music later on, but definitely not now. Due to copyright, I don't want to get flagged or something. So, well, I think that's it. I mean, the video goal was to get this Windows installed. So it did. We got it installed. It works just fine as you can see we don't have networking I have to figure out how to get it working because I I don't quite know how to do it yet I will learn one day server network but from now no clue server is it summary server shares and user application alerts okay devices services close okay so yeah from now i think that's it i hope you guys like it goodbye and see you guys in the next one